cheers to get help. Knowing your why and your purpose. I'm at this phase of my life where I only want the best for me. The best. The best job, the best mental health. I want to travel the world. I want to eat good food. I want to try new things. And I want nothing but positive energy and positive people around me. Y'all, as 2022 has come so close to an end, this gives me a chance to reflect on everything I've done this year on YouTube. I just want to take the time to kind of think of mindful ways to reflect on the year that has gone by. I started off by writing down all the good things that happened to me. However, no matter if it's small or if it was big, I took the time to write it out. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, this purple cabbage, the purple cabbage helped your girl lose 65 pounds. As a collective, I feel like we consider them major events, like globally and the events of our lives that made this year memorable. Y'all, as I was pulling clips for this video, I was pondering i'm like how can i pick and choose the best bits of a year you know because to me that's completely artificial there are always a handful of brilliant moments in a year but our lives are not made up of a series of brilliant moments one after the other rather it is the little things we do every day the little victories the daily struggles that make up the totality of our lives they were smelling good. They were smelling so good and then boom! Especially if 2022 was maybe not the best year. It could have been tough for some rather than others. So reflecting is by giving yourself credit for getting through the year. It's important to think about the things you did this year that you are proud of and to think about the small things as well as the big and life altering things. Think about those hard things and think about how you made it through. Y'all, I will say time and time again, my fitness journey was one for the record books. They, I've had highs and I've had a lot of lows and a lot Slap of fun your on YouTube. Slap your mama. Try it if you want to. Baby, I don't try mine. What else do people eat? Squash soup? Not very many options for squash. Is there? If there is, let me know. And always know that you are not alone on your fitness journey, okay? I'm here. I know you have people in your life that are there, but you also have to really process and be proud of everything that you've accomplished. Even if you have not started, you've made the mindful decision that this is a journey that you're ready to go on. I know the kind of progress that comes with a true lifestyle change. Like this one can feel slow and maybe even slower than you would like, but the changes and the progress you're seeing are still huge and they'll impact your life forever. I know it's difficult to stay motivated. So I like doing these year the reviews. It helps me learn what works well, my achievements, the mistakes that I've made and the changes I need to improve on in my life to achieve goals for 2023. Here's a quote, and please forgive me, I don't remember who said this, but life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forward. Oh, look at this. It looks so pretty. Ugh. Here it is. I'm very excited to try it. I understand it's for a meal prep. Y'all, listen, this to me is like a snack size. These are actually seasoned very, very well. Here they are. Because your journey is your business. Your why is yours. No one else has the right to judge what motivates you to set out on this journey. The only thing that ever really had me kind of hesitant to get on YouTube and kind of talk about my journey was I never wanted anyone to feel like there was one right fitness journey for everyone. And I try to make that very clear. Like y'all look, this was my first Pilates class. I look at it now and I'm like, oh my goodness, 
look where I started and look where I'm at now. Um, there's no losing, you know, weight too slow. That's not a thing. Um, gradual progress is still progress. Plus, even if you start this journey because you want to, you know, lose a couple of pounds, I bet you've noticed by now that the progress you can't necessarily see actually feels the most rewarding. Good last one. Nice and open. Lock yours in. Stand in straight for three. I had to keep a really good mindset. There's no such thing as good or bad food, and it's important to disconnect your emotions from your eating habit. The right mindset for me on my fitness journey is one where I was able to slow down and enjoy my meals. Y'all know I love food. I found a form of exercise that I truly enjoy, which is Pilates, um, and I'm working really hard towards my goals with patience and persistence and i keep working you know with a good mindset and i'm literally seeing changes and results over time go follow me y'all i'm gonna put it down there below help your girl out i have a type a personality so the way my brain works, I set goals, I accomplish it, and I move on to the next one. Usually the kitchen is where the family gathers. In my house, y'all, you already know, I'm usually recording. So my family is tiptoeing around the house, and it lets me know that they support me even when I'm inconveniencing them. Um, I do try to make like traditions and cook up different recipes, get my children involved. Look at them. Well, look how this looks so fresh. There is no such thing as perfection, right? And that even includes exercise routines, workout routines. How are we going to classify it? If I decide to skip a workout to sleep in, who cares? You say slow in the morning. Actually, we're country on the trip. Actually, in Villebranche, in the town behind that hill over here. Huh? That Focusing on one goal at a time, right? Remember, I kind of said that previously, but when it comes to setting a fitness goal, one of the biggest mistakes that I've made, and I'm sure a lot of people have made, is they try to do too much at one time. So, you know, you wanna go to the gym, you wanna, I don't know, cut out sugar, you wanna drink more water. With so many things to achieve often, like sometimes you can start feeling anxious. And if I don't get one of those things done on my checklist, then I start to kind of doubt myself. Kale, pineapple, apple, ginger. Kale, pineapple, apple, ginger. Kale, pineapple, apple, ginger. Your size and your body type does not represent your fitness journey success. Y'all don't need to say that one more time for the people in the back. Hey y'all, I'm walking two miles. Y'all already know, play the long game. I'm gonna stand 10 toes down on this one always. We all want instant gratification, but it is important to be realistic with the time frame you develop for achieving your goals. Lasting changes take a while. Y'all, I hit 1,000 followers on TikTok. Sometimes fitness goals are driven by underlining fears, insecurities, or body image issues. We are all human. Things affect us all differently.
They got food like all over the house. So y'all go help y'all selves. All right. <laughs> But definitely consider a professional's input if you're having a hard time evaluating your current fitness level. I also made some vegan mashed potatoes. What that looks good. Um, tell me what would be a realistic goal or just if you're feeling overwhelmed about the process, it can be helpful to consult with an expert, uh, a personal trainer. T2, raise your hand. No, no, no just say the name. T2, raise your hand. Say the name. <laughs> but how many times have, have I played? Um, a professional can help give you guidance on how to realistically set your goals and can help set like markers along the way so you can check in and confidently stay on track. Another thing that I've learned y'all, so you have to plan a support system, right? You guys got me, okay? Always, always get on YouTube, but outside of social media, plan for that support system. When you're thinking about your goals and you should also think about who in your life could encourage, motivate, and hold you accountable to do it. Recruit them, lean on them whenever you're in the need of support. If people you spend the most time with are supportive of your goals, it will make a huge difference. Happy early new year, everyone. And don't forget to give yourself a pat on the back. And as that clock strikes 12, no matter what 2022 held for you, baby, you made it. This community is growing. I love it. It takes a village, y'all. So we are doing this. I've learned so much. And again, I just want to say thank you. For those that don't know, my name is Jay Maxine. I lost 65 pounds by just learning who I was. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in 2023. Bye guys.